GTA San Andreas, we're doing the collectibles, the snapshot locations, 42 through 50, double A gamer for life. Okay, so this is going to wrap up the snapshot locations. Okay, from 41, we're going to just uh, head up the country road here, just south of the airport, over the bridge. This is our next snapshot. Okay, so that's our number 42. From here, we're going to head into the San Fierro Airport, and there'll be two snapshots inside of there. Again, uh, you'll need to be a pilot to get in there, or you're going to have to find a way to get your shots uh, from outside the airport, or you can use uh, one of the unique jumps to jump into the airport. Uh, Becoming a pilot before the flight school is not a problem. Uh, I basically showed you how to do that in a video, how to become a ace or just a pilot. And you can do that at any given time. I like to do that in the beginning of the game. But once you get into the airport, right in front of the tanks is our next snapshot. I believe you could probably get those snapshots from outside the airport if you had to. That particular one on the, the land across the water you might be able to get. And then this one uh, <clears throat> you might have to be on the other side maybe from the dock area. You can probably zoom in and get this snapshot as well. The very top of the tower. Okay, so from here we're going to go right out to the front of the airport, of the entrance. Uh, there's a sign out there that's got like an airplane on it. And uh, the next snapshot will be there. Okay, so right there's our snapshot. Okay, since we're down here, I'm going to grab the race bike. So one of the things about uh, San Andreas, uh, they did have uh, car mods. Uh, you can go and customize a car. Uh, the only downside is that you couldn't have like a homie bring it to you or anything like that. And um, just wasn't like worth the time to, to bring it. A lot of the, the quests, uh, you may or may not be able to use a vehicle. And if you used it, you may not have it after the quest. And so it kind of made it really not worth the time to mod cars for, you know, those particular reasons. And... Uh, couldn't use them in the racing, so just uh, didn't really make any sense to mod a whole lot. I mean, obviously as far as money goes, I had plenty and I could buy cars from the import-export and mod them and put them around, but um, without the ability to have a homie bring them to you like you could in San Andre or, uh, Saints Row, it just uh, didn't really seem worth it. 
In previous playthroughs, I did that, made some cars, found some nice ones. I even got the FBI uh, vehicle, the rancher or whatever it is, the suburban type vehicle. And the only problem is uh, I didn't really have any need for it once I obtained these vehicles and I stashed them here and there. So just one of those things. And uh, it's like when you get your respect filled up, you can have up to six or eight gang members. I, exact, I forget exactly how many, but uh, I never actually messed with them. I mean, the only time I actually had gang members with me is when it was uh, mission related. Uh, besides that, like when I go over to take over a territory, I do it all alone. I have plenty of ammo for my minigun and it's pretty much all I need. The homies were just kind of a pain and uh, didn't really make any sense to have like eight homies in a crew because uh, you could only put three of them in a car to transport them around. So, you know, I don't know, it just didn't seem worth my time to mess with the homies. All right, so that takes care of number 49, and uh, 50 is going to be up here on the bridge. Even though the the areas are blocked off, uh, you can still get up close enough to get the snapshot in. Okay, these barriers won't be gone until you open up the desert. So uh, not a problem, though. We can get our snapshots done. There's our number 50. Yeah, the snapshots are, uh, you know, part of the collectibles in the game, and if you're trying to grab your 100%, you're going to have to do them. Uh, they do give you some weapons, but unfortunately, uh, there's just nothing that's uh, really worth my time. The only thing in there, actually, I guess there's uh, the MAC-10 and the shotgun. I'm not a real big fan of grenades or the sniper rifle, so... Uh, those particular weapons don't do me any good. I mean, the things that you really could use, like armor, you know, would have been a big help if armor was there, you know, so you didn't have to run off and grab armor. So the things that you could really use, they don't ever really seem to give you. But that's what they give you. Those are your weapons for getting all your snapshots done. Double A Gamer for Life. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.